Today I'm going to show you how to install Luke FZ's FSR2, FSR3 mod into the Remnant 2 game on the Lenovo Legion Go. So you'll download these files from Luke FZ's Discord after signing up for his Patreon. The file we're interested in first is FSR2, FSR3, 220. So if we open this, and if we select the topmost checkbox, that selects everything, and we click the copy icon here. We can close this window now, come down onto the taskbar, and we're going to navigate to the Remnant 2 directory. So if this will be located in different places, if you downloaded the game via Epic, it'll be somewhere else on your disk. If you've downloaded it onto your SSD, it'll be on your C drive somewhere, for me, I've downloaded it onto an external SSD, so it's on my E drive. So you'll want to find Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Remnant 2, and there's another folder called Remnant 2, so we go into that. Binaries, Win64. And then if you right click on here and paste the files that, that we copied earlier. And you probably won't have this pop up, but if you do, just click replace the files in the destination. So we're not quite done yet. Um, let's minimize this window and we'll go to another of the files that we downloaded from Luke's Discord, and that is enable fake GPU. So just select the checkbox next to it, copy, and then we can close this window and come back down onto File Explorer to the directory we were in earlier, Win64, right click, and we're going to paste. And again, if it pops up with replace the file, click replace. So that should be the mod installed. So I'm going to go into Steam and I'm going to start the game. So this new window shows that uh, Luke FZ's mod is being hooked into the game. I should point out Remnant 2 doesn't like Reaver Statistics Tuner. Now, if you don't know what that is, you're probably not running it, don't worry. If you do know what it is and you are running it, it's best if you make sure you're not running it when you start the game. Otherwise, it will just bomb out on you and it will probably tell you that it's because of this. So, it is okay to start the game and then start Reaver Statistics Tuner once you're loaded in. And that's what I'll try and do. So, I'm going to start the game. Okay, so we're in this save point, and as you can see, there's no jittering to the HUD. So all these items here, when there's text on the screen, your map, um, the, the health bar, the weapons, um, it doesn't shake about when you're moving. Now I should say, the first time you install the mod and turn it on within the settings, you will get sort of the, the shaking. It's best to come out of the game and go back in and it should be rock solid like this. So to enable the mod, mine is enabled, but to enable your mod, you would press the button to get into your character screen. You'd come across to system, go into options. And if you come down here, um, change the upscaler. It may be that you've got none or FSR um, but change it to NVIDIA DLSS and this is where the um, fake GPU file uh, comes in. It, it means that this is now an option to select. So select NVIDIA DLSS, change your upscaler quality to quality and turn on DLSS frame generation. Uh, select the graphics quality preset of low And those are pretty much all the settings you'll need to change. 
and then come back into the game. Like I said, the first time you enable it, the, the head up display will be jittering. So it's probably best to come back out and then re, re, restart the game. So what I'm going to try and do now is enable um, Reva Statistics Tuner. And I'll do that by starting some software that I would recommend to anyone with a handheld gaming PC. And that is Handheld Companion. It is free. And it sort of like fixes a lot of problems you'll have with games recognizing the controller. That's my main use for it and the overlay that it provides. Um, but it also is, is getting changed over time to allow you to do things with, you know, T, uh, TDP, etc. It's a very good piece of software. So I'm just waiting for Handheld Companion to start up. It can take a while. Now that audible bleep is it. I think starting and then it will start up Reva Statistics Tuner. Okay, I'm still waiting for the tuner to uh, this overlay to come up, so let's just go in. So it has started. Oh, there we are, I lost the mouse for a second. So I'll just toggle it on and off again, or off and on again, I should say and come back in there we are so i've now got the statistics on the top there so in this area you can see we're getting 99 to 100 frames per second in the game which is phenomenal this game doesn't run that great on the legion go but it also it looks pretty good in my opinion on this device at 800p This is probably the best um, I've seen Luke's FSR mod run in. You know, there's no jitter to the HUD. Um, it's just rock solid and, you know, it's just providing that extra frames per second. And if all games were like this, you know, if it was this uh, good in every single game, oh, it would be amazing. But hopefully, over time, as it's still under heavy development, that, that will change. What I've really noticed as well is that the recent change to Legion Space has fixed the issues with um, with the um, thumbsticks. It's so much easier to target and aim. And there we have a crash, which is unfortunate. So I guess we don't we don't know the reason for the crash, whether it's the mod, whether it's Reva Statistics Tuner. Um, I know the mod does cause crashes in The Last of Us um, when it's starting to, uh, to do a cutscene. So I'm wondering if it's crashing on a cutscene there. So still a lot of progress to be, to be made on this add-on. But um, I'm really impressed 
with how playable it's made that game. Um, Remnant 2 is is pretty difficult um, to play on the Lenovo Legion Go. But this, you know, the, the mod change made, made that so much better. Shame about the crash. So anyway, I hope this video is useful to you. And keep, uh, I'll speak to you in the new year. Bye.